Hi, Peter Fisher here. Um, in this uh, webcast for the MySQL console tutorials, I'm going to demonstrate how to change the default uh, column in a table schema. So we're going to use the customer table as we've done before. So I'm in MySQL console now, and I can just describe the uh, customers table. And it is as it was before. We've got the email column in, in there that we added uh, last time. And this uh, for this webcast, I'm going to talk about the default column here and how to change it and, and what it does and, and so forth. In doing so, I'm going to add three different um, uh, three additional fields to this table. Uh, and the first one I'm going to do is is active. So to do that, we do ta alter table, specify the table name, which is customer, and then we add is underscore active. Now I'm going to specify that the data type is an integer which has a size of 1 and I'm going to default that to be 0. Notice I'm not bothering with the uh, the null column here. So I enter that, describe the customer, just do that on a new line for you. Okay, so we've added the is active flag. It's set to an integer with a size of one. Uh, it can be null, but the default is set to zero. Basically, that that means that um, if a record gets added to the customer table uh, that doesn't have the is active uh, field specified, the default value will always be set to zero. Now, as I've set the size to one, it means that only one integer can be used. So it can't be uh, 10, it can't be uh, 12, but it can be 1, it can be 2, it can be 3, it can be 4, and so forth. Um, the reason why I've I've added 0 is because in the context of this system, if is active is set to 0, it means that the account is deactivated, it, it's no longer active. So we're kind of adding a little bit of logic here, which which basically says that for any customer that hasn't been for, for any new customer that has that set to that hasn't got that set sorry is a deactivated customer so in any queries that we have in the system we we should check for the is active flag um, now when the customer gets deleted their data doesn't actually get removed from the database it doesn't get dropped um, all we're doing here is we're just changing that from one to zero. So if they are active, that would be set that that, that value would be one, and obviously if they're deactivated, it would be set to zero. So that's that's how that works. So um, next we're going to alter the table again, which is customer, and we're going to add another field called gender. Now this is going to be a string, so this is going to be a varchar. And for argument's sake, we're just going to have 13. And we're going to default that to be male. So let's describe. So, okay, so we've got the gender column that we've just added. Um, so 13 Varchar. Um, and the default is male. So um, this is a choice. So uh, gender could be male, female, what, what have you. Um, if it isn't supplied, then it's uh, the default would be set to male. This is just a way of making sure that the the data follows some sort of uh, rule set. So the next one we're going to add is title, which is very similar to gender. So alter table customer add title. This is going to be a var jar, and I'm going to set it to ten. And I'm going to default this to be, let's default that to be Mr. Okay, so we've added the title, uh, it's Mr. Um, it kind of works because it's a, the default is male, uh, which means that um, if any of these if any of these three columns are not specified in the query, then their default values will be zero, male, and a mister. So that's how you manipulate the default uh, value 
in the table schema. I shall speak to you all soon. Thank you. Bye.